So do you see that red on your screen? I want to show that to you. Take a good look. We do have a weather alert in effect for today. First alert meteorologist Aaron Moran joining us now with what we need to know to get through this day. Aaron. So, you know, we're not expecting widespread severe weather, but we do have some heavy rain, some lightning. There's even been reports of some small hail in Stephenville. We've kind of had a couple different rounds of rain, but the worst of it, the heaviest rain, the gustiest winds associated with these storms, kind of moving through Dallas County and Collin County as we speak. This line is moving at about 55 miles an hour, so it is racing from west to east. Right along 35E now, we're starting to see that heavy rain approach DeSoto. Hutchins and Wilmer along 45, it's just about 10 minutes or so from you. Basically all of Dallas seeing this heavy rain right now. University Park has it, Richardson, Garland as well. And then we look up into Collin County uh, from Wiley. We're seeing light rain right now, but that heavy rain will be approaching here momentarily. Farmersville, it's headed in your direction. Melissa, McKinney, Almost on the back side of some of this heaviest rain right now. Uh, again, moving at about 55 miles an hour. So we look at first alert future cast. Get to 12 o'clock this afternoon. We still have some heavy rain in eastern portions of Collin County, and then it's kind of continuing to push east into Hunt County, up through uh, Bonham and Paris as well. Here we are at 2 o'clock, and at this point, most of us are rain free. We still have some cloud cover, but we are expecting good bit of sunshine as we head into this afternoon and it's not going to be super cold today but you notice this cold front just out to the west that will be ushering in some colder air and some really intense winds. If you've been outside, then you already know these winds are gusting at over 30 miles an hour at times, and this is ahead of the front. Uh, you see these wind gusts right now reported in Dallas at 31, Corsicana at 33 miles an hour. Let's talk about 45 to potentially maybe upwards of 50 mile an hour wind gusts as we head into tonight. This will be behind that cold front. Here's 1130 in the evening, so the winds are going to be howling tonight. It's bringing in some much colder air, and we have to be prepared for it to settle in tomorrow. So uh, we're looking at a wind advisory going into effect in the next hour. This is one of the reasons that we issued the weather alert. Hopefully yesterday, if you still had any of those holiday decorations up, you were able to take them down. But if you've got any outdoor furniture, maybe a trampoline, uh, uh, you're going to want to make sure that this is secured because the winds are only going to get worse into tonight. And as I mentioned, it brings in cooler air. So we've got a low tomorrow of 34, a high of 49. Wind chills will be in the teens and 20s tomorrow morning, and then spots won't even feel like we get out of the 30s tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures rebound quickly, Ken, into the 60s by Wednesday and Thursday, but then we're likely looking at our first hard freeze of the season by this weekend with lows in the 20s and highs in the 40s.